Hi guys, Togo here with a new video and this video will be more of a positive video, right? We're going to discuss about solutions for PvP and how to improve PvP. PvP participation, PvP feel, PvP everything. I want to first and foremost say that I'm not going to talk about class balances because people do realize, I think people do realize that every single patch, every single season every single expansion has some pvp imbalances because pvp is just like that in any game there is no real balance because there will no never be a real balance there will always be a meta a anti-meta and then a countermeasure to the meta and then there becomes another meta i'm not going to discuss about that it's also pointless because i do think blizzard can't really balance the game to a proper level because no one really can in PvE, it is like this. In PvP, it will be like this. And for any other game, it will be like this. Now, the suggestions that I'm going to give are either possible to be implemented right now or in the future. Of course, it really depends on Blizzard if they really want to fix PvP or not. If they don't want to, then it won't change. But if they do, maybe those suggestions might help. Now... The first one would be make finally a timer for soul shuffle what do i mean with a timer i mean whenever i'm queuing for soul shuffle for example that if i want to queue for soul shuffle right now i'm not like the eye level for my warlock i didn't really buy the, the honor gear so if i want to queue for soul shuffle i'll press join battle and you will see here a timer but really and not really a timer but a queue so you will see there is 100 dps waiting for a queue and it will drop down you know like a queue whenever you enter the service and there is like a queue before you can actually play the game like for classic or retail now in retail it doesn't really happen because it's not that popular anymore i guess uh but in in uh, classic whenever a expansion comes out or a big patch and it's a mega server you will always have a queue um i would say the first day or even weeks depending um, and you have like a countdown, you know, there is written two hours, but you see 10,000 players and then 9,000, 8,000, 7,000. Then you know that you're progressing, right? It would be the best system ever if they actually put a queue for solo shuffle. What, I, what do I mean with that? Like, for example, you see there is 100 DPS waiting a queue to get into the game in your specific MMR. It will be MMR specific. So if you are like 2.6K... You will see how many players are in queue right now to wait for the game. It will be more fair, first and foremost, to know if you are actually dropping into the queue so when people get games or if people do not get games. So you can actually just wait or just leave. And also whenever someone um, leaves the queue, so for example, if you're, you're waiting for the last one, like, you know, the five out of six players kind of deal, and they're saying that you're back into the first place of the queue. And you're going to see that you are really back at the first places of the queue. Instead of, of like in front of the queue while you know that you're going to wait 30 minutes more. So at least you have some visibility into your queue and how many people are actually waiting in queue. I would also put like a, a maximum for, for example, if you can see that, that you are like the third out of 300 people are actually waiting. So you know that whenever you're going to play a game, that the second one will be also back into the queue and will be more fair. Again, people can drop down if people leave or if people are like getting into the game. I think that's very great. And then for the healers, the same. You also have a queue, although I think for healers, it might be zero because whenever you get into the queue you most likely are going to get a game but at least you have visibility i just want visibility and i think it's better than just a number like for example i'm going to random bg boom 14 14 minutes come on average wait time 14 minutes it would be nice to have this quality of life for every single queue you're going to 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 cure because again why just a average wait time of 40 minutes just give me the amount of people that are actually waiting into the queue to get a bg or how many people are actually waiting in social fall or whatever game mode you're going to produce in the future i think that's a fantastic system and it would be more clear for the player 
more clear for everyone actually and it would be less frustrating at least i know that it, i will be a lot less frustrated with the queues now the second part the second idea is not really something i'm 100 percent a fan of because i feel like um it depends on how they do that but you need to reward healers so you want to have more healers you want to reward healers and you want to have the piercers actually play healer to get those rewards now the problem is you're going to give people um incentive to do things that they do not like to get rewarded for things that you like now is it a good thing is it not a, a good thing you will create frustration in those games I think people that do not want to heal and get to heal to get the rewards and then get bad teammates, for example, do tend to be more toxic because it is like this in every single game for League of Legends or even for Overwatch or any other game that you can play a support and you're auto filled to support. Often or not, it will create frustration, but it is what it is, right? So you can reward it with gold, although I think gold is not really a good metric because I do not want to be very lucrative because I think bots will just want to to do solo shuffle to get gold and then you will have bots versus bots and it will be very hard to er er eradicate those things. But you can also give specific titles and specific titles would be even more like I would say interesting if first and foremost you keep the titles so every single season you can farm titles and you get like specific titles and you, you're not going to get like legend healer for example because you know that legend healer is going to go be gone next season but really a specific title that you can farm every single season i would even say spec specific titles so you can actually be encouraged to not only play disc priest but also play holy paladin holy priest mistweaver monks preservation evoker etc etc so you can actually have people that want to re-roll healers to actually get those titles. I think that could be very nice. Again, it, if it's very specific, the thing is those titles are going to be attached to the player. And if they do not really want to play Disc Priest or Priest in the future, I don't think they will do titles, but whatever. You can give that as a reward for the people that do play those classes and want to farm those titles. You can also give cosmetics. The problem is with cosmetics is I think it's very limited because people do not know, but in World of Warcraft, cosmetics either are previous expansions cosmetics or current ones that are actually made right now. And I do not know if they have the dev power to actually like pump out cosmetics just to reward healers. And you know that those cosmetics, they are not going to be used in PvE. I hope so, because then there is no incentive to do PvP. And if it's only pvp then the PvEers are going to cry and those like that crowd is more i would say appealing for blizzard so they will do better cosmetics for pve or they will do just those cosmetics to pve so i think that's a, a risk that's why i do not really like that second idea of rewarding healers my third idea would be reward everyone make a battle pass system without any money so you don't you cannot buy it with money just make a battle pass system where you have pure engagement uh so you can see every like every two wins or every three wins in social for whatever it gives you reward like for example extra conquest so outside of the cap just remove the cap i don't care but you get extra conquest or maybe you can see you get a piece like for example every four or six wins you get a tier piece or you get um, a piece that you can work for. For example, you have a choice between a shoulder, hands and a helm, for example, and you can just farm your way through and the, the stats should not be perfect again it should not be like pure this way you have to grind your gear but it gives you extra gear so maybe you can play other specs for example it could be very interesting so again this is pure engagement i think it's also a system that can be implemented in a patch for example it's not really hard you can also put cosmetics into in it you can also put titles in it you can even put goals in it i don't really care just give rewards for people that can actually play and battle pass system again if it's not without when whenever it's not with money for example you can only progress with playing and how do you progress playing the game the best in solo shuffle it's by playing healer and not really dps because if you're a healer you can grind those games out very quickly while for example dps will have a bit slower of a progress on the, those battle passes so i think that could be very interesting again engagement 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 um and now my fourth one my fourth proposition is probably the most ambitious one which i do not think they can actually do that this expansion and i'm even a bit afraid of next expansion but i would like to suggest that as an idea 
put machine learning AI healers. Now, what do you understand with machine learning? For me, machine learning is they're going to be better every single game. They're going to get better. They are going to, to learn from real healers, from the best healers in the game. They're going to learn how to CC, how to heal, how to deal DPS, uh, how to just survive, also how to kite. It would be very interesting. It, not really the comp stomp like bots, right? Just put real AI that can actually think, that can actually dodge. Just something that can be very interesting and put it as a healer in social fall. And they can only face each other, right? So if you're a, you have an AI healer, you're going to face another AI healer. And then those DPSs are going to be humans. And it won't make mistakes because it's AI. Again, they're not going to uh, fake a cast uh, more often than not. They're not going to cancel cast while they should not really cancel cast. They're not going to press a CC or a, a CD uh, that is useless, for example. They're not going to do that, right? And that's up to the DPS to actually kick, CC, do damage, or even kite those healers or whatever, right? And that's again, is a skill lowerment, I would say, because, again, you're not really playing versus real, like, people. But I think that's the only solution. And they actually did that on the PvP islands in BFA. They kind of scrapped that. I think the, the AI was not that good as well, but if you can put machine learning at somehow, some way, because again, there are games that can actually do that. So I cannot believe that in World of Warcraft it's not possible. They can do that. It will, again, make queues pretty instant for DPSs, really. And that would be actually very nice. And then whenever you are a healer and you're queuing up, you're only going to play versus other healers. So there is no real like shame to go healer. If you want to play healer, you can just play healer. But at least, you know, if there is like a, a shortage of healers, at least you can play a DPS and not have queues. So that would be a suggestion. I don't know if they are going to do that. I think it's possible. I think it's also a great way because Guild Wars 2 did that. Like Guild Wars 1 did that. I don't know if you ever played Guild Wars 1. But it, it was, it, there, there were bots in some PvP matches, and I didn't feel like they were that bad. They were bad, but they were not that bad. And I think since it was a game from 2004, they really could do that, like, a lot better in 2023. It really depends about Blizzard if they have the solutions at hand to actually make it possible. I think that's probably one of the best things they can do for the game in a short amount of time. And now my fifth suggestion is like a big long-term goal, just rework PvP. I think they should really consider making BGs at least the face of PvP. Uh, I love arenas, I love BGs, I love open world PvP, but I think in as a whole, BGs, if you can make it very relevant and very good for the mass majority of players, I think that would be actually very good compared to social for twos or threes. I think also making 3v3, if the healer problem is going to stay, at least change it to a 4v4 thing. Like one healer, three DPS, make CC a bit less of a, it's, it's like du duration wise for healers so they can actually heal through uh, three people, but also just remove dampening because again, the healers are going to work hard to actually keep those DPSs alive because three DPSs is actually also a lot of damage. Um, I think that could be a solution and it would also reduce the queue times because the ratio to DPS and healers is going to drop. So that's actually a very good thing. Um, I mean, it's going to increase. So it means that uh, the, you, you will have less queues as, as a DPS and as a healer, you won't, you won't really see a difference except it will be a bit harder to heal, but you're going to be helped with, for example, dampening not be a thing. Uh, I think that could be very interesting. I think uh, what they could also do is probably play around solo queue a bit more. So if you're 3v3 and you're like double DPS, you can queue up and wait for a healer, for example, instead of like LFG system. Um, because if I, in my opinion, LFG, it, it just is solo shuffle, but with like solo shuffle, I would so, solo queue, I would say, but with extra steps, you don't really communicate a lot with people. You just are going to invite that healer, that healer is going to join or not, or... Um, 
that Hillary is going to make a group and play with DPSs that they don't really know, right? So I think it's just solo queue, but with extra steps. That's pretty much how it feels, so to be honest, most of the days. Um, and yes, yeah, there are people that can actually do like 3v3 with pre-mates. That's very good, and they know each other. That's very good for them. But the mass majority of players are actually looking through pre-made like, groups and they're finding group. And they're going to queue up, right? They're going to queue up, and they're going to hope that they're going to get invited by that disc for example. So all, all those things, again, it's, it's solo queue, right? I'm just going to sign up, and they are going to invite me or not. And that's it. So that, that that's more or less solo queue, but just with extra steps. So I would like to see them rework PvP as a whole. I think uh, if PvP, they could make like an open world setting where you have like fortresses that you have to take, for example. Again, I'm just talking like gibberish, right? Because there is a lot of games that can actually do that and probably will do better than World of Warcraft with that. For example, Ashes of Creation will have also some kind of um, fortress battles and ca like caravans or whatever. You have Guild Wars 2, literally with, or literally with forts, with camps, with uh, castles. You have also like uh, like Elastros Online with Cyrodiil, for example. You have many games that have that. So I feel like World of Warcraft, being the game that actually is that good, why do not why do they not work on those things it is super easy too and i know look there is a meme and it's still true to till this day world of warcraft just doesn't handle like people very well i would say whenever there are like 100 people on your screen your game is going to shut down for some reason or you're going to lag or it feels like you're playing like on four fps per per per, uh, per uh, second um, per minute it's it, it's really really bad but if they can rework it to a way where you can actually do 50 versus 50 pe uh, people for fortresses for example and you get rewards of that bragging rights you, you put the name on your, of your guild on the castles for example uh, you have siege weapons i don't know man you can just be so much creative for pvp but i feel like pvp is just not a priority for them and if they can actually make like something for from Again, if Guild Wars 2 can make World vs. World something, which is like the RPR system, Realm vs. Realm vs. Realm system, where you have fortresses, castles and such, why can't World of Warcraft do that? It's really not complicated. I know that it's not something that you can do for Dragonflight because it's a lot of work. I think also for next expansion, I think it's too late. Except if they had an idea before. But that's something they should work for. I mean... We are now in 2023. You cannot not take risks. You have to take steps towards getting your game better and for every single aspect, for PvE, but also for PvP. I think PvP, it, it is long due that we need some kind of attention, something fresh. I think Social for is something fresh, but it could do much, much, much better. I think as a whole everyone asks for rbgs to be a solo queue thing everyone asks for world pvp to be meaningful not to just be a gear grind um, they could do really better and i think with those suggestions that are actually like listed i think they could really fix pvp as a whole for queuing pvp but also just playing pvp um as a whole if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section below please do not say class balances because that will not happen man that will not happen every single class gets to be op right now for example enhancement shaman is very good i would even say better than good previous previous passion patch and even previous expansion we weren't s tier right so every single class and every single spec gets to get s tier at one point even outlaw rogue was s tier in uh, season three of shadowlands and season four a bit uh, in shadowlands the 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 wheel will always turn to your favor or not that's the issue with flavor of the month thing with gearing being that easy it just is i would say more clear to see whatever a class or a spec is OP because everyone is playing that. But that's the double-edged sword behind uh, gearing being easy. It's also easy to just jump ship and jump to a, another spec, to another class, and actually play that class or spec. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps me immensely, but also like the video if you like the video. Again, helps me with the algorithm and we will catch each other very soon in the next video have a great day bye